I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. I'm continuing exactly where I left off in the last episode, so everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Morgana said, we need to hurry up and get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. The amateur that Morgana is talking about is Yusuke. He happened to drop into the world with us. He's right there. He's just chilling. He's a little bit hurt. He's holding his side. He's like, oh, my side hurts. How could so this, this be? is inside of Sensei's heart? A vain museum such as this? Yeah, this is your teacher's fucked up mind. He has a whole bunch of paintings with a bunch of artists that he plagiarized from. I mean, what can you do, right? The old bastard, he's evil! <clears throat> Ugh, this painting! Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But, why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. <laughs> Madarami saw him as objects, so that's why they are in here. Oh, and uh, we found yours too. We'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Did that painting remind you guys of Yandere-chan? Or maybe something that she would wear? Kinda looked a little weird there. Kinda looked a little Yandere-ish. The exit is right there! <laughs> this motherfucker! Who is it? What the? Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That... that's here. Disgusting. Hey, you got some red this, lipstick going on here. This is all one Got that big mat line, going on over it? there. My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Looks like he's about to start a YouTube beauty channel. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. This is absurd. Some setup you've got. I'm almost impressed. Gotta stay cool. Hmm. Such insincerity. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? Because he wants that money, honey. If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? The painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. Hmm. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Nice man bun, asshole. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. Shit looking like a big old palm tree. No. The worth of art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? I bet you Madarame does not give one single fuck. Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. Wow. I can't believe this. 
Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. At first, I almost felt sorry for him because I was like, wait, what's wrong with this guy? He seems so nice and genuine and caring and soft-spoken. But now that we know what we know, this guy is a bigger asshole than Kamashita. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you. So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> oh, here we go. It seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. <laughs> blind and unable to see the true self go, behind guys. this one horrible man. Here we go, guys! Holy shit! The artist is going to awaken, baby! Yeah! Have you finally come to your senses? Yeah, baby! <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable limitation in your life. Best you apart from that aspect of yourself. Oh, I can't wait to see what he looks like. He better be badass. Let us now forge a contract. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. I am thou, the thou art I. The words that my nipples price. love to hear. It is time you teach people which is which. What the fuck is Very that? Well. Come. Goemon! Goemon? What's this Pokemon bullshit? A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! That actually looks pretty damn tight. Whoa, this is impressive! <laughs> Who do you think you are? Um, the you price for it? your insolence will be dead! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! Yes, for justice! You got this? You better not run away. Let's see what you're made of. Very well, bring it on! <laughs> oh man, we got a new party member. I love this. My favorite part of the whole game. No awakenings? You are in the presence of Lord Marwame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations! Okay, let's see what we're working with. Bufu, Giant Slice, Sukukaja. Let's try Bufu on this guy. He's now weak to that. No problem. We are going to find the weaknesses. How about snap? Little snappy poo. Okay, snappy poo does not work. I don't care if your evasion's up. I'm still going to hit that ass. I'm going to hit it from the back. I'm going to hit it from the back all day, all night. Zayo. Fuck me silly. Poo poo on the small guy. Yes. So the little guys are weak against ice. Perfect. Hopefully it is a miss. Two more to go. Come on, Yusuke. Don't fail me now, buddy. You might just be my favorite party member if you can get all of them. Come on. Yes. This guy's awesome. I'm liking this guy already. At first, I didn't like him because he was being a little pervy perv. But now he's whooping ass. Kind of like this guy. All right, Z, you got this. Finishing touches. Thank you. That's how it's done. Give me some good XP. Come on. 411? Not bad. That is not bad at all. 
a lucky punch. The thing now, the tricky part is, who am I going to take out of my party? Because right now I have Ryuji, On, and Yusuke. Should I switch out On for Morgana? I don't know. Yusuke, we'll see. You've just thrown your bright future down the drain. We'll figure that out later. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame! You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me! Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? I don't know. Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But... Who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. And on top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father, but he changed. I think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. It's okay. No worries. I understand. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. I love this background music. It's so soothing. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. Same here, buddy. For real. What are you going to do now? I'm a go-with-the-flow type of guy. I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. Yeah, we will. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! Perfect timing for those guys to come in. When did my clothes change? You now just noticed? You just noticed that now? Really? See? I'm Ryuji, guys. Me and Ryuji, we're two in sync. Save it for after. Let's go! How do you not notice that? He had a freaking tail on his back. You didn't feel that tail smacking your ass every time you ran? I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. The phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. We're right in front of you. Is it hard to believe? We're right in front of you, big guy. Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words. Especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame-sensei? Our plan is to whoop his monkey ass. With Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join. As a member of the Phantom Thieves, why is Ryuji looking at Yusuke so damn hard? Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this. For the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. 
He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun? It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. Yes. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. I love it. Welcome aboard. Just don't betray us. Oh, and no nude paintings. Yeah. Nobody's getting painted nude. Not on, not Ryuji, not Z, not Morgana. Nobody. Uh, so that was all a plan. Well, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. So Jiro nude? Maybe. Maybe. It wasn't my idea. It was theirs. What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. I haven't given up on that yet, though. Woo! Give it up! Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? <laughs> we'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Yeah. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. Black bean jelly? I bet he got that idea from a black cat. What is black bean oh. jelly? I didn't bring any money. Oh, broke ass. Never mind. He's just weird. How are you gonna order black bean jelly and not have any money? Little moocher. And by the way, I was reading the comments in the last two videos where Yusuke was in. You guys love hey. this dude. You are in love with Yusuke. He has a lot of fangirls. I hope you aren't up to no good. Don't forget you're still under probation, get that? One misstep and you're finished. No good? No, What's no, wrong about no. changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. Legal action? This ain't funny. That sounds problematic. If the police hear about this, they'll totally get in touch with the school. We'll get expelled for sure this time. School would be the least of our worries. We'd end up arrested. Unlawful entry, defamation. Guess that means we really can't afford to F it up this time. Yeah, from here on out, it's what really matters. Let's do this. Hey. We just need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. Well, that reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. Let's check it out. Let's see what kind of goodies we can get our hands on. Adhesive? Eh, might as well buy it, right? If it's a special item, might as well go for it no matter what it is. It's only 1,900 yen. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We know, we know. You're going to get it to us as soon as possible. Let's go upstairs, get some sleep, get some shut-eye, re-energize for tomorrow. And I think I might try to raise up some social links because now that we got Yusuke on our team, I'm pretty much certain that we're going to face off with Madarame soon. So we have about 14 days left. So that's good enough to raise up my social links, whoop some ass in Madarame's palace, and then fight that bastard. Good timing. I wanted to tell you something. Madarame was talking to a lawyer. I suppose he's serious about suing. I think we should advance our plans. Why don't we go to the palace today? Uh, we have to prepare first. I'm not ready for it yet. True. True. 
You never know what will happen in the palace. We should prepare thoroughly. It's good having a calm, rational person nearby. I'm counting on you. I thought Yusuke was the calm, rational person. He has like a very calming, almost monotone voice. He seems like the most rational person out of all of us. Ryuji, he's the most irrational on. Oh, she's have you the heard? most cool, I guess. And Morgana is all over the place. Madarame, the maestro of the art world. Artists with that good of an eye are rare in Japan. I wonder if he has synthesia. What is that? Yes, regarding synthesia. What the fuck? One of the many English terms that comes from Greek root words. Haven't heard of it? It's a condition where your senses can cross over each other, like seeing music as color. Mr. Z, you were staring off into space, weren't you? Question. Well, your number's up. The root word of blah blah blah, blah are sin and aesthesis. What do they mean? I have no idea what this word is, so if I'm fucking it up, come on. Go easy on me, guys. Sound and color, apart and senses, together and senses. Okay, sin means together. Sin means together. So, this has to be it. Good. Yeah, baby! You've been studying. Unfortunately, synthesthesia is something you have to be born with. You can't learn it. Some of the geniuses over the course of history have... Oh my god, why is this word always popping up? The composer Franz Liszt instructed his orchestra to play the color purple. The poet Arthur Rimbaud was also said to see colors in letters. Yes, praise me, students. Praise me! Nice wow, going. you must really be smart to be able to answer a question like that. Well, you know, I'm kinda smart. And we ranked up. Knowledge rank two. Alright. Okay, that's enough of this. Nice. What is she doing in a Japanese school? She looks like she should be like in Brazil or somewhere in Spain. What is she doing at Shujin Academy? She seems suspicious. Whoa. I bet you were gonna have like a nasty twist with her, like she's the final boss or something. But right now we have 13 days until Madarame takes legal action against little old moi. So we are gonna explore the town a little bit. Well, should we rank up with Ryuji? Actually, you know what I want to do? I think I'm going to go to Yongen, and then I'm going to go to the clinic. Haven't seen my bae in a while. She's so sexy, guys. This this doctor right here. Allergies this doctor right here so is so annoying. sexy. How are your allergies? I have a good medicine for them. Just one dose should take care of them, in theory. Come to think of it, I might collapse again if I take that medicine. I need bold guts. Okay, if bold guts is what I need, take care. then bold guts is what I'm going to get. Where can I get guts? Let's go to Shibuya, Central Street, and let's figure out where we can get guts. I know Big Bang Burger, if you take the challenge, you can get guts. Where else can I get guts? If I go up here, I can get knowledge and kindness and shit like that. I guess I'll go take the Big Bang Burger challenge. Fuck it. Here I come. Guts, 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 guts. Come on, finish it. Oh, you oh, son of a bitch. Man. Well, I got some guts, so I'm okay with that. One gut. Rank up? Nope. Okay. I'm just going to keep trying to do things that will give me guts until I rank it up. Then we are going to continue our social link with that doctor because her story is pretty interesting. I like being a little guinea pig. Uh, hey, Sajiro. Hey. Come to think of it, the guy who approached you in the beef bowl shop was a politician, right? He apparently gives speeches at Shibuya Station, but you can't judge a book by its cover. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we got our stuff. We got the adhesive. Awesome. So let me do something real quick. Let me take care of my plant, which, by the way, you guys are being awesome in the comments, always telling me to take care of my plant. We still need to figure out a name because we can't be calling this guy Planty. Oh, it's healthy. We're gonna go to Shibuya Station Square, and we're gonna talk to that guy. And I don't know if I'm going to work at Beef Bowl Shop anymore. Because the only reason I did it is because I could talk to him. So here he is. Please continue there have been have far to too say. many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train incident? Oh, we heard this one before. We heard this. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? I am. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interest of someone your age. Hmm? Hmm. Have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. If you'd well, like. if you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer a job to a student. 
I was thinking you could learn some things if you chose to attend a few of my speeches, though. I'd be glad to. Really? That would be helpful indeed. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? What, are you gonna try to go on a date with me? You're a student from Shujin Academy, hmm. It's nice to meet you. I am Toronasuke Yoshida. I used to be a member of the Diet, but no longer. Yeah, looking at him, he's not a member of the Diet any longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. God damn! This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Very well. Well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Yeah, you can count on my help right now. As long as you give me a social link, I'm all ears. Everyone. Oh, that's what I'm doing? I'm holding up a sign in front of my beautiful face? That's so unfair. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However, However even in this modern day and age, it is imperative that we all act in the best interests of all. A world where it is acceptable to trample on the rights of others for your own benefit. A world where the young exist only to be exploited is a world that must be changed. Hmm, easy for him to say. Old timers like me have our hands full taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's a no name. He probably won't get too far. Nothing's going to change. We'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe politician blathering about now? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of the state in the capable hands of the liberal co-prosperity party? How about you shut up? You mustn't base your decision on whom to support merely according to the party they belong to. Ah, just shut up already. You're just a washed up politician. If I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to... In the best interest of all? Ha! Save the blathering for when you get elected. If you get elected! Thank you. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, what did you think of my speech? The best interest of all? I don't remember much of it. Well, the heckling. Let's talk about the heckling, because it was pretty harsh. Hmm? Oh, don't worry about that. Such as I am, I'd like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times, like today, when the audience has a difference of opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? You have my support. Yes, I agree with them. You won't get elected. You have my support, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. It's encouraging to know that my message has won you over. Besides, I have grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. No. Although, I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. I think I can learn a lot by listening to Yoshida's speeches. Oh yeah, well, baby! I Perhaps I'll soon. ask you for your impressions sometime again. What? What about the social link? We're not gonna get a little... We're not gonna get a little closer, baby? You're not gonna get a little closer to me, baby? I can't get closer to that politician, baby? What's going on here? That's messed up! That's the only reason why I did it was for the social link. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Yes, let's read. Let's read Tidying the Heart. It'll give me some proficiency. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna skip this, guys. I'm gonna skip this, like, mini idle chat. Mm. Idle dialogue. We got three proficiency. Yes! All right. We'll rank up soon. I believe it. I dig it. I really like the different ways you can rank up all your social stats. You can do it on the train, at home, watering your plant, talking to other people outside in the town. So many ways to do all these things in this game. What are we doing today? We're hanging out, baby. Hanging out with you, that's what I'm doing, shoo! Let's go hang out with On, guys. Okay, so we're not gonna deepen our bond with On yet, but we can hang out with her anywhere in the town. So I think that I'm gonna go to Inokashira Park. Inokashira Park, huh? There's a big lake there, wanna go? Yeah, that seems romantic. Me, On, okay, Morgana, a big lake, a lot of beautiful scenery, perfect place for some kissy kissy. Mm. This place really is an oasis right in the middle of the city. I can feel the tree's energy. I honestly enjoy just relaxing like this. It makes me think of a picnic, and now I'm craving sandwiches. You should make some. How about dumplings? Let's just enjoy the air. 
That's what a broke person says. You should make some. Wait, no. That's gonna fall into the thing where, hey, make me a sandwich. You know what? I'm gonna tell her to make me one, but, you know, maybe I can make her one, and, you know, we could do things for each other. Huh? Me? Then, is it okay if they're the sweet kind? With whipped cream and custard inside? Ew! Anyway, it really is quiet here. Custard and whipped cream in a sandwich? The fuck? I know! Let's take a walk! I want to see what else is around. Want to come with? Sure. I feel like my bond will grow stronger soon. Thanks. Good. Okay, so we hung out with On a little bit. I don't have much time, guys. But the thing is, in the next episode, I'm going to fight Madarame. So I'm trying to uh, develop all my social links back. as much as I can right now. I wonder if that Yoshida guy is giving a speech in Shibuya again today. Should I check? Maybe I can develop a social link. Let's see. Let's go to Shibuya, Station Square, and develop my social link. So that's my plan for this episode. I'm going to raise up my social links, and then in the next episode, we are fighting Manorame. We are whooping his ass. Please. There have been far have too to many say. blah, blah, blah. We know, we know, we know. Teach you how to give speeches? Why? I want to be a politician. I want to do what you do. I just feel like it. Let's bullshit him just like a politician does. Let's say I want to be a politician. Mm. I'd love to help you, though. How shall I teach you? It's time for my speech. Let's talk about this later. Do you need me to hold up the sign again? No? Just do this. Just go rah, rah, shish, boom, bah. And while our society appears to be prosperous, many of our young people are quietly suffering. Why is he holding his hand up like that? On some Hail Hitler shit. They lack jobs, security, savings. I'm worried about this guy. The next generation will lead us into the future. And yet they have no plan for how- Watch where you're going, you little shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. You bumped into me, you old goat. Ooh, diss track. This isn't good. Roast session. Let's mediate. Let's leave them be. Let's relocate. Let's mediate. Yes, let's. Good citizens, please stop fighting. What is the point of bickering over such a trivial matter? Yeah. This is none of your business. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously, just shut up. <laughs> What's with this guy? Oh, see? We broke up the fight. Now, if you'll please Mission excuse accomplished. me, I must return to my speech. Together. We can create a bright future for the next generation. Ugh. God. So righteous. That really annoys me. Enough of your arrogance, no good, Tora! What? As if anyone would actually vote for you! Are you planning to embezzle funds again? Or maybe criticize one of your constituents again? You criminal! No, that, that was all in the past. I've gone and done it again. That's campaign obstruction. Aren't you going to get mad? You're a criminal? There are many who would agree with that statement. Whenever someone calls me no good Torah, I panic. I went through quite an ordeal 20 years ago. I'm sorry, but why does this guy have a very wide frame but abnormally small feet. Like, those are some elf-looking feet right there. Like, that shit looks ridiculously small. I, I can't take my eyes off it. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Let me explain. It. I used to be a member of the National Diet. I was elected during the rise of the Kuramoto children. We were backed by powerful Diet members. I just can't stop looking at his feet. They're so damn small. This was about 20 years ago. I was very inexperienced back then both as a politician, as well as a human being. That inexperience led me to be involved in a series of major political scandals. People refer to my blunders as no good Taurus three strikes. The first was being caught missing a legislative meeting to take a personal vacation. Then, I was accused of embezzling a large sum of money from the party giving me two strikes. Finally, I called a voter an idiot at an open forum, which resulted in scandal and strike three. I was out and branded a washed up politician. 
You said you wanted to become a member of the Diet. But do you see the man before you? A questionable background, accused of embezzlement. However, he has conviction and wants to change the world. Public speaking skills could be useful to the Phantom Thieves, so I'll make a deal with him. Do you really want to receive my guidance? Your speeches sound great. You seem to have conviction. I don't care about your past. I'm happy to hear that. However, everyone says I have no chance to get elected. So why come to me? I like your technique. Have confidence in yourself. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Cheer up. You're doing a good job of cheering me up. Yeah, see? Put a smile on your face. But you may be right. The most important part about giving a good speech is believing in yourself. Exactly. Perhaps one day I will believe in myself again. But you sure got me there. You're a strange young man. Oh, I'm the strangest. Very well. If I learning get how to give a great speech is what you seek, then I'd be happy to instruct you. In exchange, I would like for you to continue assisting me. Oh, you want me to hold up the sign? Let's get started, shall we? I'm the sign holder. That's what my life has become. That's all I do, guys. I just stand there while he gives speeches that nobody wants to hear, and I just hold up my sign, and I'm like, Krusty Krab is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. If you guys don't know where that's from, I'm sorry. Staging your crimes with calling cards. It's hard to believe that a student could manage this alone. An adult. For example, someone talented enough to move people with words. Perhaps they coached you. Isn't that right? It's right. Stop pestering me. I am the... It's yeah, the yeah, we know. I am Balboa. Which one's this? The sun! All right. Let's pursue your dream of becoming a member of the Diet. Oh my, we've been talking for far too long. Let's call it quits for today. Well then, I shall see you again soon. All right, we got a new social link, guys. We got the mighty and bright and honest sun. That's all we could ask for. And now it is 25th of what? June? If it's July, then, is it June? No, it's May. Good morning. Oh shit, it's her. That reminds me. It appears you're lying now lately. What's with the change? Wait, I'm lying? How am I lying? What do you mean? I see. Don't worry about it. It must have been my imagination. Anyway, I wish the culprit would come forward soon. It's absurd to pretend I can do the police's job. I wish he considered my feelings before asking me this. This girl's on to us, guys. She knows that we've been doing some freaky deaky shit. We just gotta lay low, cause we know that she's on our asses like flies on a piece of brown dookie. Let's see our text. What you up to? What are we doing today? Should we hang out with her again? Wait, she wants to go to the palace? No, 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 no. We got 11 days. We're good, we're Gucci. Wanna hang out with Ryuji? Oh, he wants to go to the palace too. No, 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 he wants to hang out. Okay, fuck it. We're gonna hang out with our main man, Ryuji. Actually, you know what, guys? Our bond isn't gonna grow deeper. So, I'm actually gonna go inside the palace. It's gonna rank up a little bit. So, let's talk to On. And let's head to the palace. Okay, so we just got into the palace, and they're asking me what nickname we should give to Yusuke. We have Clown, Box, or I can't think of anything. Let's go with Clown. Let's just see what they say. That's a little too similar to Joker, though. Fox, then. How about that? Not bad. It's so cliche. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. It's set, then. Let's go. It's so cliche. I mean, he looks like a fox, so we're gonna call him Fox? At least with Joker's name, you know, he can look like anything. He just looks Listen like up. a thief, but then being called Joker is badass. Same thing with Morgana. It's kind of random. Hmm? And then uh, Ryuji is Skull. That's kind of lame, too. And then on is Panther. She doesn't look like a Panther. That's why it's a cool name, too. But I need to choose a party. I'm gonna go with Ryuji. Because he's Joker. pretty strong. Kind of reminds me of Chie. And then... I'll go with Yusuke. Because he has ice. Yeah, I get a word 
Sorry to cause and now trouble. it's a choice between Morgana or On. Hmm. Morgana has wind and healing, and On has fire and healing. Uh, you know what? I'll take On for now, and then we'll switch up accordingly. And right now, I also have to make a Jack Frost with Mabufu because the twins, they need it, and they're going to give me some kind of reward if I do it. So let's do that real quick. Wait, Jack search. Frost, I can make one. Barrett and Silky. You okay with this? I need Mabufu. Choose the inherited skills, inmate. Oh, I need Mabufu, baby. I can rank Choose up, though. I can do it. Inmate. Let's do Rakunda and Rakukaja. And double thanks. It will receive a Please rank up, please. Rebirth. He's gonna learn Mabufu level 12. Come on, Jack Frost, do it for me! You better level up. Please. Okay! Mabufu! Okay, now let's tell the twins. Done already? Yes, I'm done already. I'm not done here, though. Because I want to talk to you. That persona. Hey, sit right there. She knows what's up. It seems you brought the specified persona. Huh. Fine, I'll take it. By the way, your personas are super weak. Not that I'm surprised, inmate. She's so mean. Though I guess you deserve at least some praise for finishing your penal labor. You might actually complete your rehabilitation. In order to promote that process, we would like to offer you the use of a new facility. <laughs> it's rare to see you smile, Justine. You are the smiling one, Caroline. Did something happen to make you so joyful? Me? <gasps> hey, are you laughing at us? Maybe. You have a cute smile? I sure am. Let's piss her off even more. Know your place, inmate! Alright, I'm sorry. As wardens, we simply feel satisfaction in seeing your rehabilitation progress. That is the extent of it. I find it upsetting that you would see such a matter as a source of amusement. Hey, can a guy have a little fun here? It's like you forget where you are, inmate. You've got some real guts, though. With that spirit, you should have no trouble making progress. Very well, then. If you have the will to continue your penal labor, we can grant you greater freedom within this prison. It is a deal between us, the wardens, and you, the inmate. Not like you have the right to turn it down, though. Hard work is what you're meant to do, inmate. I've made a deal with Caroline and Justine. I am the child with the... Another one. This is the Strength Persona, All right. or the Strength Arcana. Yes. Now, it's time for your next task. I'm ready. We request a Shisha with the skill Frey. Hey. I'll worry about Shisha later. I got some exploring to do, so He's I'm out of here. Okay, so if you guys missed out on the last episode, this door right here opened because we opened a door inside of Madarame's shack. It had that artwork on the door right there. And now we are going to explore it because if you open yeah. it in the real world, you open it back in this world. I didn't quite understand that at first, but I think now it's kind of painting a clearer picture. No pun intended. Thanks to all my hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go inside. Let's whoop some monkey ass. Giant painting. This what a giant amazing. painting! Indeed, it bears such a bizarre texture as well. It's as though I could simply slip inside. What the? What happened? My hand! It actually entered the painting. So we can go inside of it? Well, I don't see any other path for us to take. Let's give it a try. So it's kind of like Persona 4 when you can go inside the TV. That is so fucking cool. What the heck was that? We're probably just hearing Madarame's thoughts. There's no need to panic. Madarame. This is so creative. I love this so much. Oh, 
Oh, we're in another painting. Hmm, so this space is not merely one, but a multitude of paintings. You're telling me they're all connected? Which one goes where? That we will have to continue walking to find out. Hey Joker, can't you spot the connections with your skills? I can see yeah. It. We just gotta go from end to end, right? Oh. I can see it. That is so cool. How so foolish. he dares call us thieves who dirty his heart. The one who has sullied the very nature of art itself has no right to accuse us of such a thing. Save your emotions for later. We have to keep moving. That painting thing is so creative. Why do I love that so much? Plastic frame? I don't love plastic frames that much, but I love the fact that you can jump into paintings. That must be the most awesome thing you can do in the palace. Hey, don't go staring at my butt. What are you talking about? Who's staring at whose butt? You better not be staring at my butt. Whoop that monkey ass. Nice. Whoa. Hey, there's a strong looking guy over there. We've seen that kind before. His stance conveys the notion that he is no ordinary foe. I think the control room's behind him. He's probably guarding it to make sure nobody gets too close. However, we'll need to disarm the security if we want to ensure we have a safe infiltration route. Forcing our way through seems to be our only option. I got enough health. I got this. Joker. Hey, are you ready to do this? Let's go. Hmm, who are you? How did you get in here? Step aside. You expect me to just move because you tell me to? I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken. I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken. Because I am about to put the whoop! This guy's pretty big though, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty damn big. Let's go. Let's go with giant slice. No holy fuck. This is not good. Eha. Oh, wow. Agi? Okay. Dio. It's gonna be tough. Fufu. I guess he only gets hit with elemental attacks, not physical. Oh, wait, maybe. Nope, he blocks that too. Let me do Agi again. I guess it's just who can survive long enough to give him all these attacks to take down his health little by little. Almost dead, almost dead. Fufu. Bam. And you're out of here, buddy. No? Okay, Ryuji, finishing touches. Blam. That guy was big, but he wasn't shit. And we got a lot of XP. Sweet. It's a step forward. I think I should be okay fighting Madarame at like level 20. That seems like a good level. Phew, that guy was tough. I guess that's just par for the course in the palace. It's really on a totally different level from the other enemies though. Hmm, he dropped some sort of card. A skill card is a special type of item used to teach one of your personas a particular skill. Uh, okay. So occasionally a shadow will drop a card, I can teach it to my own persona. That's cool. Indeed. It appears this is the control room for the security. No shit, Yusuke. Oh, I need a password. Really? I should have beat the password out of that guy that we were just Look, fighting. A treasure Ooh. chest. Oh. Let me open this. Bold eye patch? Eh, I'll check that out later. Right now, we gotta figure out who has the password would have the password. It probably is a guy who looks different from the rest. Oh no. There's two guys talking right there. I hear the intruders already got past the central garden security. Yeah, I just got a call earlier to change the password here too. What to? It better not be simple. Well, I was having some trouble coming up with a good one. For now, I set it to the numbers for Lord Madarame's feet. Lord Madarame's feet? What are you talking about? Let's get back on duty. There's a chance the intruders are nearby. Hmm. Madarame's feet? The hell is that supposed to mean? Maybe his shoe size? Yo, Yusuke, you know that bastard shoe size? Unfortunately, I've never heard him mention it. Are you sure that is the proper password? Madarame's feet, what do you think that could mean? 
I don't know, but we gotta search around. But before I do that, I gotta whoop some monkey ass. Blah. Here we go, guys. I was looking around for the password, and Yusuke mentioned something about Madarame's feet right here. It's at his feet. Oh, right. But isn't the password supposed to be a number of some kind? Hmm, I do believe there are numbers here, though. One ray of hope stands alone with two adept hands. None shall match him. That means the password is 2101. So 1120, one, right? Nice. Yeah, that must be it. Sweet. Let's head back and shut down the security. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's try that password we found. Password accepted. Disengaging security protocol. You better. There we go. Whoa, that opened all sorts of stuff. We'll definitely be able to get to more places now. Come on, let's get moving. Alright guys, so now I've unlocked some new areas. I think I'm gonna end this episode here and I'm gonna try to level up as much as I can. But if you guys are excited to see the next episode where I fight Madarame as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead DUDE!